Now we're going to make the torso. And the torso goes from here down to our hip. And how, how many heads were there for us? There are only two. two. OK. So what we're going to do now is we're going to draw a line from the bottom of the oval. And we're going to go straight down the middle of our paper to the bottom of section three. We're going to go down two rectangles. So draw that for me, please. Excellent. Everyone's following directions perfectly. All right, now, top of my head to my neck, look, that's about how wide my shoulders are. So we're going to come here just a little lower, lower than our head. We're going to make a line that goes horizontally across here. Leave a little bit of room for the neck, and I have an a line that goes horizontally, and it's about the same width as our head. So if you need to measure, use your thumb and forefinger to measure how tall your head is, turn it on its side, and then make a set of shoulders like that. Okay, now we need hips too. Our hips are right here on the line between section three and four. So we're gonna put a line that goes this way, right on that fold between three and four. Oh, what a group. You're doing great. Now, from our hips to the floor is how many sections? How many heads? Three. From here to the floor, show me on your fingers, how many? Okay, I should see this many, three. Make one leg go from the edge of, from our, the side of our hip here, all the way down to the bottom of number six. Right there, and we're gonna put a foot on him, like that. And then we're gonna come to the other side and we're gonna make another one that goes to the bottom of section six and put a foot on him too. Okay, now things get interesting. My measurement of my head is from here to here, right? Okay, I'm gonna hold that. Now, Jose, I'm gonna hold this on my shoulder. Would you pull that arm, that string down? Where does it go? Right it goes right down to my elbow, doesn't it? Okay, now hold it there very carefully. Look at that. How long is my, my arm from my shoulder to my elbow? It's one. It's one head. It's one head from here to here. And from here to here, how long was it? One. One what? Head. One head. Okay. We're going to measure using our fingers this time up here. Measure the head. Hold your thumb and forefinger where the head is. Now we're going to move over here and start at the shoulder of your stick figure, we're going to draw a line that's that long. And that's from my shoulder to my elbow, isn't it? Okay, so measure from here to here, top of the head to the bottom of the head with your thumb and forefinger. Measure out here at the edge of the shoulder and put your, the top part of your arm from your shoulder to your elbow on. Then we're going to repeat that and put the rest of the arm on. So holding that same measurement now, we're going to come down here and go one more, and it's going to go down right. It's going to go from the elbow down to about that, the, end of bottom, the, the end of section three there. See how that works? So one head goes from here to here and from here to here. And look where, the, look where your wrist will be. Your wrist will be right about where your hip is. Okay, let's do that on the other side also. My measurement is from here to here again for my head, isn't it? Would you hold the string that long for me, please? Way up above your head. Now, boys and girls, look at this. Put my hands together like this. And my hands from my wrist to my wrist, finger to finger, is how long? It's the size of my head, isn't it? Isn't that amazing? So how much is this? Ah. Half of that, isn't it? Okay, so half of our head is going to be the length of our hand. So let's go back up here to our head. And I want you to stop me. I'm going to start at the top. And when I get halfway down my head, I want you to tell me when I reach that, okay? Ready, watch. Right there, you think that's about half? 
I do too. Okay, so my hand is going to be about that long. So I'm going to take my thumb and forefinger, come over here and measure. And I remember where I put that. We put it right here. So I'm going to have half a head there, and I'm going to have half a head over here. Let me check to see if that's about right. Yes, we're measuring. Okay. So there's my hand with the thumb, and there's my hand with the thumb. Can you put hands on yours now, please? Remember, how long is your hand? The size of your head. That's two hands, yeah. or the size yeah. of your heads. So it's half the size of your head, isn't it? From my hip to my feet, what's halfway down? My kneecap is halfway down. Now that doesn't fit here, does it? It's kind of hard to go halfway down. So I want you to help me measure that. Watch this. We're going to do the same thing as I did with the head. Stop me when I'm halfway down my legs, from my hip to my feet. Stop me when we're halfway down. Stop. Stop. Right there, that's a good one. That's a good one, right? So I'm going to put a little tiny dot there. That's one knee. And I'm going to go straight across and put a dot there. That's my second knee. So now, boys and girls, we have our head is how much of our body? What fraction? One sixth. One sixth. Our torso of our body is how many fractions? Two sixths. Two sixths or? One third. One third. And from our hips to our feet, how much of our body is that? Three sixths. One half. Three sixths or? One half. Good. You guys are right on there. Okay. So now we've practiced our fractions a little bit. Let us make an art piece that has the correct proportions of our body. Are you ready for that? Mm -hmm. Okay, you should find on your table a small rectangle that looks like this. What do you think this is going to be? I think Joey's got it just right. This is our head, aren't we? Isn't it? Okay, now we want our head to be just about that size. We're going to make this into an oval. Let me show you a trick on how to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the corners. I want you to just watch me first. I'm going to cut this corner off because I don't have a pointy head, do I? No. Good answer. I'm going to cut a corner off of that, and I'm going to cut a corner off of that, and don't worry, boys and girls, I will pick up the pieces. Now, are we getting a little bit closer to an oval? Yes. Yes, okay, but I still want my head to be that size. So now I'm going to very carefully cut and round off those corners. And guess what I have? I have an oval. oval that's going to represent our head, which is what part of our body? Our torso. One sixth, <laughs> isn't it? Okay, good. This is what we're going to measure everything else with now. So with, I want you to do just what I did. Take your little, square, your little rectangle there, first cut off the corners, and then round those off. I am impressed with the way that you're taking your time and being very accurate with this. 